it's been two years since we've done this. We've gone from Ottawa to Toronto, we're going off to Amsterdam. And the thing is, just before the pandemic, we were in the UK shooting videos of three companies, and we were shut down for two years. And in those two years, we thought, we went to so many great places, we should show people where we went. And after almost eight years of doing this pretty regularly, we traveled all over North America, all over Europe, We'd, we'd be checking in with companies every six months. And so to be stuck in Canada for two years was really tough. I think with these trips, like we get to meet really awesome people. We get to go out with them. We get to have awesome meals. And we get to listen to insanely good speakers, insanely good sound system. And that's just a treat for me. And so now we're filming these videos and it's really a fantastic experience, but you'll see it's a lot of time, 18 hours to get from Ottawa to Toronto to Amsterdam where we're going in Germany. And so we're really excited to get out, to get back to Amsterdam and to Germany to really get in and see some new companies and see some old friends as well. It's finally getting back to normal. The first company we're headed to visit is T plus A in Germany. This is a fairly new company for us. We don't know a whole lot about them. We do know they make fantastic electronics and great speakers but only recently have they made a splash in the North American market. So we're really coming in here blind and I think we're gonna learn some really cool stuff about them. They've been around the European market forever and the reputation definitely precedes them. T plus A in Germany, super impressive facility. You can see it in the background. Modern, large, at least 80 people inside. I don't know what the square footage is, but one thing we've discovered over all these years of going to companies, and this is kind of one of our secrets I'm gonna let out, two days is perfect, and here's why. You come to a company for one day, you'd rush too much. You would be trying to get everything in one day. Come for three days, they're sick of you, like they've had it with you. Two days, everybody's happy, everything gets done easily, you go home, everyone leaves happy. So one of the key things when you come to any company is discovering what makes the company tick. And T plus A, it was a mystery. Really, I always knew it was a fairly large company, it was a progressive company, but what made it tick, what made things happen here, and what's really obvious, Siegfried, the founder, runs this place. His son will take over this place, but the whole founding principles and what the company's run on for 44 years comes from him. It's obvious. Although there's a large engineering staff that has a lot of input, you can see the vision and the direction. It's all scientifically based. He's a physicist. And this is kind of the crux of the company. It's a science engineering driven company led by his vision. So we just finished a T plus A. You don't know how these things are gonna go, though they've never gone bad, but still, you're kind of just dropping in on companies. You don't want the drop in to go bad. But as you'll see in the footage, it went really well. A really surprising company. I knew it was an established company, a really professional company, quite sizable. It exceeded those expectations. Super well run, super focused, great products, and really good people. Siegfried, Conradin, fabulous vision on what goes on in the future of that company and great history of the past. So we're just getting on a train now in Germany and then we're gonna go all the way to Harnham and we're gonna check out Siltec and Crystal Cable. So the last time we visited Siltec and Crystal Cable was right before the pandemic and they were one of the last companies we got to see. Over the last two years, it sounds like they've really put a lot into their R&D department because they've had two new cable series to show us. One for Siltec and one for Crystal. I believe they'll be unveiling these cables at the Munich show, but we're gonna get a sneak peek. If you're not familiar with Siltec and Crystal Cable, they've been around for over 20 years and, and they make some of the highest end cables you can buy for your system. The amount of research that goes into the development of these cables is second to none. And walking through this factory, you can see how the amount of research they do translates right into their products. The cable series as they revealed to us were the Future Dream 22 from Crystal Cable and the Royal Crown series from Siltec. 
So one of the best things about visiting Siltec and Crystal Cable is the level of hospitality. They hold nothing back. Gabby is sort of notorious in the industry for being able to throw some of the best dinners and parties anyone in the audio industry has ever been to. So it's no surprise that when we go to visit them, they take us out to some amazing restaurants and really show us the local culture. So here's the thing about Crystal and Siltec. They're sister brands that come under the international audio holding corporate umbrella. Both brands products are made in the same factory by the same people in Arnhem, though the products look really different. In hi-fi, cables are controversial. But here's another thing. Both brands don't only make cables. When you look around, they make loudspeakers, amplifiers. They come out with some really unique innovative components but their core business is cable and when it comes to cable despite the controversy that there is around there I've been to this factory a few times now and what amazes me is the amount of research that goes on in the factory there's strong attention to detail in the construction of the cables and high material quality but there's also an immense amount of research that goes on in the lab led by Edwin that sometimes to be honest amazes me I think is there that much to research when it comes to cables Edwin believes so his team believes so and they keep pushing the envelope so when it comes to Crystal and Siltec as companies they really go all out for what they believe is the ultimate in audio excellence and I always respect that Edwin. Yeah. Check out, you got a camera on you. Third time I've been here, second time Chris has been here. Yes. What do you think of us coming here? Fantastic. It's very professional, very helpful for us, and it very well fits the whole audiophile idea of our products. And that is hi-fi companies. A lot of people don't understand hi-fi companies operate differently. Yeah. It's a very personal thing, it's a business thing, yeah. but it's also very personal. Yeah, and you take it home, and you sleep with it, it's just yeah, the yeah. way it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say uh, you're welcome next time again. Okay, yeah. Yeah. these guys work. <laughs> these guys work. Well, they sure do. This is the first time we've done this. Stayed an extra day, and the original reason was a good one, to have extra stuff to shoot, but if that didn't come true, we would have slept in and not gone home as tired because we would have had much more time to get to the airport. But something did come through, and that was the DGTL Festival through Amadeus Meitner of Meitner Audio EMM Labs. He got us invited there. So after we got to Amsterdam, we hopped on a boat and we came over here to the DGTL Festival where we met up with Amadeus Meitner. And it was super cool because he had his Meitner DAX set up with the DJs. Him and his girlfriend are really involved in the EDM scene. And uh, I guess they've been really making the name of Meitner throughout the EDM world. And that's super cool to see. So when you plan these things, they can go really poorly, like nothing could have happened. We could have got to the event and not be able to shoot anything, but we were everywhere. We got backstage, on stage, right up to the crowd, right up to the equipment. We could see the Meitner stuff being used. We could see the DJs playing. It was really a good day to come out and well worth it. So we've been back now. Jeez, it's coming up close to a couple of months. And that trip was fantastic when we reflect on how much fun it was and how informative it was. And what was interesting was about a month, just over a month after we went on that trip, we were in high end in Munich and I was able to see most of the people again. And in particular, I saw Conradine. And at that time, we hadn't quite had the T plus A history video done. It is done now, but I had one minute to show him. I said, I'm gonna just gonna show you one minute, no more. And he's like, okay, and he watched it. And what he said was, I love the quality. And that really resonated with me because quality is really, really important to me quality of what we produce, but also quality of what the companies produce. And when I look at T plus A, this is something I talked to Siegfried about at length there. Quality is what that company is about. And that's what Conradine recognizes too, and will undoubtedly carry on. Crystal Cable, Siltec, it's all about top quality in what they do. 
And then EMM Labs Meitner. We didn't really go to the company there, but that's a company I want to see because it's about quality. It's also about a legendary designer. Amadeus Meitner is the son of Ed Meitner. And the guy's history goes back to the 70s when he was designing test equipment. In the 80s, he was doing things in audio that nobody had done, and he's still doing it today. And I want to get out to Calgary to film at Meitner and EMM Labs, but that's going to wait because our next trip in July is to the UK again. iFi Audio, which we've never been to again, and then PMC, which we were at just before COVID shut us down. So if you want to follow us on our travels, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You'll see where we go. You'll give you insight into the companies we visit and show you things nobody else can.